It seems like motherfuckers just be kind of against me more so. Like, they don't, they looking for a narrative to run with about me or um, even like the stuff that happened uh, yesterday with, um, with dude. It was more so when he said what he said, that was something for all the people to run with and try to um, turn it against me and act like uh, I'm mad at that nigga for a pen. And I ain't never been no nigga that... Um, my real friends tell me my opinions. Um, Keyshawn went on the internet and said, "Shit, uh, Shakur had a boring fight, but da 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 da." I then I don't got no problem with um, somebody saying your, their opinion. Um, opinions don't bother me. Um, that shit way deeper than that. I ain't really trying to even speak too much about it, but um, nah, niggas be tripping like y'all be bugging. Like Twitter be bugging. Twitter just be on my head for no reason. Like really yo, y'all don't even know what type of nigga I am. Like I'm really like I ain't I ain't gotta say it. It is what it is, y'all got it. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just leave it there. That was Shakur Stevenson, and he's talking about the latest what's going on in his personal world with Richardson Hitchens. He talks about something I guess that Keyshawn Davis said. That's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego. And I'm back with some more boxing. Subscribe to the channel for the best in boxing. My name is Ego. I've been covering boxing for over 10 years. Make sure you guys subscribe. Let's get it cracking. Shakur Stevenson, he went on his Twitch, and that's what you guys heard at the beginning. He did a basically a Q&A session with his fans, and he wanted to clear the air on a few topics that were lingering, you know, in the boxing world. As you guys know, right now. I would say boxing is in like a down, like a downside. This is not the most active month, meaning there's no big fights. Like, yeah, Jaime Mugia about to fight against John Ryder. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to. But we know that's not really, you know, it's just not like an epic fight. If I'm not mistaken, John Ryder is off a of Canelo loss. I don't even think he's fought since canelo beat him and broke his nose or whatever happened in that fight in mexico so it's just a slow it's like a dry dry spell so naturally people gravitate to whatever they gravitate me i'm working on stuff behind the scenes to make 2024 lit on the channel so again make sure you subscribe so shakur stevenson is addressing some of those things i really didn't make a video about it about shakur and richardson hitchens but there seems to be some tension based on an interview that's what a lot of people are alleging that richardson hitchens what he said to fight hype offended shakur stevenson and now that relationship is potentially fractured because of he made some statements and the statements that i seen that he made regarding shakur stevenson's last fight with edwin de los santos he basically said shakur stevenson if he fights like how he did versus edwin de los santos de los santos is a guy with great like fast twitch muscles he has power he's athletic but you know at the grand scheme of things he's not on the level of a javante davis he's not at that tank level and especially in terms of pro level experience so he said something to the effect and i'm paraphrasing you guys can watch the interview yourself right here on youtube but basically richardson hitchens made mention that if tank davis watched shakur's last fight with dominican fighter edwin de los santos he would be chomping at the bit he would be licking his lips off of that performance because he'd be like yo i'm tank davis if you if you running from this dude and you hesitant to engage and really open up offense versus him then that's just gonna make his confidence grow now i gotta be real like i always am on my channel i didn't really personally see nothing wrong with what richardson hitchens said because i actually said it before richardson hitchens on my channel based on that given night with shakur and edwin de los santos yeah if tank who is rated higher if he were to fight you yeah he's definitely going to be feeling like liking his chances i mean boxing i always tell y'all boxing is a 
what have you done for me lately type of sport so you're always going to be judged really harshly on your last effort i mean look at errol spence errol spence did all this heavy lifting and assembled all the belts on his side that he possibly could like he said clean up my sides of the street and he fought the sean porter unification he fought mikey garcia in front of fifty thousand people and all the pressure he fought danny garcia he unified with your dennis ugas who had just beaten money pacquiao um i want to i believe uh, my bite will uh he's going to bite me right and he was scheduled to fight pacquiao himself but an eye injury kept him you know from doing that and then pacquiao couldn't remain winning and he lost to ugas but you see ugas people what are people saying about him after errol spence beat him after mario barrios beat him you know you look at errol spence and see the negative comments that you're seeing people like almost threw everything that he's done out the window everything ugas has done out the window the sean porter fight all that stuff and they're looking at right now the recent and that's just what it is with boxing and that's not going to change for shakur stevenson now before i give you guys the rest of this video i encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel the latest and greatest of boxing but now a word from our sponsor your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy i've used tubebuddy for years to scale up my youtube channel now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers tubebuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level use my link in the description to get started with tubebuddy and level up your channel faster we work we back so shakur stevenson he was on twitch you guys heard that clip at the beginning and he's saying his piece he's explaining and he's saying that it's deeper than that like he's saying the reason him and richardson hitchens are at odds or don't see eye to eye is more than just an opinion you know that's what he was basically saying he said for example he said Keyshawn davis said after my last fight that my last fight was boring and then he said, but Shakur is da 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 da. So he says it's not so much the opinion of it. He said there's more to it. But here's the thing Shakur didn't bother to elaborate on what the real issue is. So it's really hard to understand his side if you're not willing to convey that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what else people are going to start? That, there's a lot of boxers doing this, like, especially this, the younger fighters. A lot of post and delete. Like I come from an era, like there ain't no post and delete. If I said it, I meant it, and it's just up. That like anything, like put it that way. Anything I say on the channel, that's what I truly believe in. You don't have to believe it. You know, you can be like, oh, ego's full of it. But me personally, if you see me in the streets, I'm still gonna be on the same thing because I believe what I'm saying. I'm not just arbitrarily saying stuff for clicks and views, but I do understand the nature of the game. There are people that do that. That they act a certain way online but in person their opinions and their energies or whatever shift so that's on them i can't really speak for me but i don't really prefer all the like post and delete and you know all that type of jive when it comes to what you're saying because to me i think as a man a man got to be congruent with what he says so if you put something out there what's the reason to delete it like I've been doing boxing longer than most of these young boxers have been pros and I don't delete no videos. The only time I've had to private videos on my YouTube channel is per the request of somebody else. Like there was a, I'm not going to say their name, but I had footage of a fighter in, in a fight, pro fight, and it got knocked out. And I had like footage of the knockout. So the fighter behind the scenes requested that your boy Ego they you know he like he was like i don't want that for my brand you know i don't want people to be just like youtube search and then find me getting knocked out so as a courtesy he they asked me to remove the video which i did so i removed but that wasn't my choice that was because i respect the fighter and then the fighter asked me to do that you know what i mean and we move on so like if it's something like that that's the only time i've ever took a video down but if I said it, I meant it. I ain't taking it down. And I know it's public domain. So if you see me at a fight, it's the same thing. It's the same opinion. 
so i don't really understand this new generation of um you know deleting things after you say it and stuff like that and again with the shakur stevenson issue he's saying it's deeper than that and richardson hitchens he is there's more to it but he's not telling us and you know fair play to him he don't have to it's his business but it's hard for me to understand his side the the point is to me boxing is getting soft boxing is getting to a point where we can't even have a dialogue without radical fanboyism and name calling and stuff like that and people otherwise acting like jerks like they wouldn't do this stuff in real life irl you know what i mean so my thing is this shakur stevenson his last fight to me it was boring that's my opinion it was boring it wasn't his best work it's not like like what i've seen it's not the best of but my thing is this i'm also realistic so with that being said i'm not rating shakur as a whole based on that worst performance because at the end of the day he still won it's not like he got knocked out or knocked down or you know badly rocked and you know truth be told edwin de los santos i've seen him better too the el rayo fight the fight with adorno so it was really styles make fights i mean there's no love lost it's the same thing with like robert easter jr and rancis bartholomew their fight was terrible it was terrible they literally i literally fell asleep during the fight i never really fall asleep during boxing so some fights are like that it's a stylistic thing you know no guy wants to commit and this and that so i get it so you know at the end of the day shakur's still a, a top talent in boxing until otherwise proven as far as him that's why i didn't make no video about the shakur richardson hitchens because boxing is turning into one big soap opera like one big giant high school like we all go to high school together and i'm not really on that i'm not really about that like of course i talk about everything cracking in boxing sometimes it is drama related but like you know some people like thrive that's their whole like lane their whole lane is tmz whole lane is um these two fighters are gossiping and beefing and bickering i, I don't know Let, let's get back 2024 let's get back to the essence you feel me let's get back to that you dig that real boxing where it's like it shouldn't be 90 percent of that and then a little bit of boxing talk so on my channel i do prefer to have more of it be about boxing and then some of the extracurricular oh, jermail charlo got arrested or this fighter did this outside you know it's gonna be some of that because i am a businessman you know that because you find me at my places of business like Pac said but at the end of the day i do want my channel to to stand on something and it does so let me know what you guys think Shakur Stevenson didn't really give up much but he said there's more to the story you let me know what you guys think but he did reveal that Keyshawn Davis himself said that his performance was rather boring let me know what you guys think subscribe